Good morning kids. I am Mohana Ravi, your computer teacher. Today we are going to see uh, our first lesson book back answers. Okay. Our first lesson book back answer we are going to see. Before that we are going to have a small recap on the uh, book on the book content. Okay. First lesson content whatever the video I posted uh, last time on that video what are all the content I have used all I, everything I have taken from your textbook only I told you repeatedly I am telling you now to uh, I took it from the textbook so that you will have the benefit of reading your, uh, your com complete lesson okay so we are going to see a small recap then we will move on to the book back exercises okay our lesson name is evolution of computer we saw what is computer first we saw it's an electronic electronic machine and and where and all it is used okay now it being used in supermarket in railway station schools and all we are using everywhere we are using even in hotels too we are using Okay, and we saw the definition commonly operated machine particularly used for trade, education and researches. Then we saw uh, like um, invention. Who has invented? Okay, this uh, and uh, this is the picture of the first computer, world's first computer. When invented first time, uh, the computer was like this. Okay. Then uh, who invented Charles Babbage? Charles Babbage, scientist, Britishian. He was in uh, Britishian. Uh, he invented. Okay. Now uh, in the year 1822, it was invented. Okay. While he invented this machine, he had only four features. That is input, mill, store and output. Only four features the machine had. Okay. The machine was called as analytical engine machine was called as analytical engine not as computer okay computer name given to the machine after long time after long time invention okay but while he invented this in 1822 that time it was called as analytical engine that was the old name of a computer next then we saw the pictures of uh, mr charles babbage Scientist, Britishian. Then uh, later on, how inventions grown. Later on, uh, the mill and the process both together uh, happened. Process, uh, the process alone uh, took mill job also, and uh, and storing and uh, output everything has developed. Okay, now what and all the computers and uh, other uh, uh, other developed computers we are looking now, all were the base of this analytical engine. Okay, on based on his idea, we have developed it. Okay, but the idea belongs to Mr. Charles Babbage. Then we saw the principle with the diagram. Uh, I'll go to diagram. Yes, this is the principle of working. Working module, working algorithm. Uh, we have to give input. We should raise the question. Whatever the question you are asking with the computer, that becomes your input. Okay, if for input, uh, whatever the device you are using, like keyboard, mouse, and all, uh, scanner also an input device. Uh, for this, uh, whatever uh, typing, and asking everything becomes input okay now for your question the CPU has to analyze the answer okay it has to analyze it has to calculate or it has to think an answer so that becomes arithmetic logic unit CPU totally has three units that is memory unit control unit arithmetic unit so memory unit the the whatever the questions we make that also will be stored and whatever the answers the computer is giving that also will be stored okay so both the way it is used then control unit control unit only controls how to give the answer to the uh, user 
okay if i am asking a question the control unit will decide uh, upon my instruction uh, if i asked with the printer if i asked print out it will, it will use the printer for that if i ask the result to, to be shown on the monitor it will use the monitor for that okay so the control unit controls all the other part of the computer then the calculating part and uh, all other uh, logical uh, thinking parts and all belongs to the third unit arithmetic logic unit okay so these are the three parts uh, are there in cpu then output you know i have explained you just now to uh, that is monitor printer um, uh, these are all uh, output unit there are many outputs but basically we use this monitor and printers okay this is the example we uh, given in your textbook contents are completely from your textbook okay for if you add four and three how it will uh, through input three through keyboard you should type four and three four plus three okay first will be stored in memory unit then the the information will go to control unit then the control unit will check whether to give the answer to print out or through monitor okay then it will pass on to the uh, arithmetic uh, logic unit here the answer will be generated the answer again will go to control unit as the way it came the same way it will go to okay it will go to control unit and now control unit will decide to which output unit to be used to show the result then before showing before showing the result the control unit will pass on the result to memory unit in order to save the result in future purpose in future if you want to uh, know the answer it will give you duplicate and give you for that purpose okay for, and uh, the answer will be shown in a, in your desired output unit okay next we saw the soft copy and the hard copy see the soft copy the monitor hard copy is a printer uh, now it's time to play uh, some uh, some games we played in last video itself but kids from here from this slide okay our book back exercise starts okay from this slide onwards our book back exercises are starting so be careful these are the questions given in your book back okay now these are uh, like uh, choose the best kind of uh, questions okay there will be two options will be given you need to select the right option okay now modern computers features are the idea of analytical engine okay based on the analytical engine only the new computers modern computers have designed so is it true or false it is true okay next cpu is used to process information cpu is used to process information of course cpu only has the uh, controlling part and uh, memory part and uh, alu part so all process will be taken care by cpu only completely okay so it is true memory unit is used to input data is it true no memory unit somewhere is inside the cpu we cannot access we cannot even see that part okay only hard disk will be there that's it you cannot go inside your hard disk and you cannot see we are not ant kind of a structured uh, human okay so we, the memory unit does not belong to that and we use keyboard mouse and uh, sometimes scanner too can be used <laughs> so the statement is wrong memory unit is used to input data is wrong then charles babbage is a russian mathematician no he is not a russian he was an uh, britishian okay he was an britishian next printer displays the result is it true printer prints the result okay printer the monitor only displays the result display means showing okay showing showing uh, part belongs to monitor only not to the printer okay so the statement is wrong now we will move on to the dictation words see kids you should know one thing that dictation words and uh, the missing letters 
both are same okay both are same words are uh, used in the book okay both are same the same dictation words are they coming for the missing letter also so if you are thorough with the dictation letters then you will be able to answer the missing letters part also so be thorough with the dictation words a first word is analytical analytical a n a l y t i c a l analytical a n a l y t i c a l analytical next soft copy s o f t c o p y soft copy s o f t c o p y soft copy logical l o g i c a l logical l o g i c a l logical then intermediate inter i n t e r inter mediate m e d i a t e mediate both together join intermediate okay next machine m a c h i n e machine m a c h i n e machine okay these five words are used in missing letters also okay see how it is all the same words okay in analytical a the twice and t i and uh, one more time a okay are in dashes okay so we if you are thorough with the dictation words you will be able to answer the filling letters also okay we'll read uh, filling le uh, missing letters also analytical a n a l o y t i c a l analytical soft copy s o f t c o p y soft copy logical l o g i c a l logical intermediate split and read inter i n t e r inter mediate m e d i a t e mediate machine m a c h i n e machine m a c h i n e machine okay so these are the same dictation words now we have to uh, do true or false question okay true or false question write true or false charles babbage is a russian mathematician charles babbage is a russian mathematician i told you he is not a russian mathematician he was a um, he was a british british mathematician okay so the statement is false cpu is used to process information is it true yes only cpu has got the all the processing unit like alu control unit and memory unit so only with these unit data can be processed so the cpu is a right answer so you should write true here okay next third one is memory unit is to input data memory unit is to input data is it true or false no right memory unit somewhere is there in the cpu but for to input data we need a keyboard so both way it is matchless memory unit is to input data memory unit is to input data is it true kids no memory unit somewhere is there in the uh, cpu but uh, to input data we need a keyboard okay so both way it is matchless so it is a false statement should write false okay then the fourth one is modern computer features are the idea of analytical engine modern computer features are the idea of analytical engine is it true is it true yes it is true based on 
based on the scientist charles babbage whatever the analytical engine he invented based on that analytical engine only the modern computers the super computers we are using all everything based on his idea only okay next now it's time for question and answer who is the father of computer charles babbage is known as the father of computer charles babbage is known as the father of computer next what is the use of arithmetic and logic unit the arithmetic and logic unit is used for processing the result the arithmetic and logic unit is used for processing the result okay the arithmetic and logic unit is used for processing the result next a second question how does a computer work computer is an electronic data processing machine which needs electricity to work okay computer is an electronic data electronic data processing machine electronic means it need current it needs electricity to work okay it is an electronic data processing machine which need electricity to work okay so uh, till this our book back exercises gets completed so that's all kids for this video we will meet in next video till that keep watching this video again and again uh, i have completed all the book back exercises what and all the book back exercises are there present in your book everything i have covered so please go through the video again and again we will meet in next video okay bye kids